Hey guys, um, so today I'm doing a partial review, I guess, um, of this book that I'm starting to read called Derek Percy, The Australian Psycho. Um, so far of what I've read, it's, um, hmm, it's a little scary, especially for those who, um, don't like true crime don't like those acting oddly um that wouldn't be classified as normal um that you know that that does anything to children at all and this guy admitted to one from what i've read so far as you can tell in this book i've got like a long way to go i'm about maybe maybe a quarter in and so far there's been so many accounts in um australia in between the 19 um 1965 to 1969 and he was a young dude so um i just wanted to confirm that uh this guy's apparently according to the media he is dead so there's no worry about him, but there is obviously a worry that there are people out there that's similar to him. So, you know, it's a bit scary. It does make my heart race and it means that anybody can look like a normal dude, but when, or a normal chick or normal person, um, it's just a bit scary to know that on their free time they could be less consider considerable um normal um like so far from what i've read this guy actually started committing crime by taking other people's um dresses and um, panties and clothes and he started wearing them um, down the street and as a bundle of clothes, he set them out in a very particular way and he started slashing with a knife, which at that point in time, walking around with a knife was not odd. Um, it was actually kind of like, oh, cool. What sort of knife do you have? You know, and it wasn't illegal either to carry around a knife, thinking that it was going to be a weapon. Um... And started slashing the panties. And then he kind of dumped it in this very uh, different area, like a bridge, which apparently is significant, which is what I'm starting to read now. Um, and really, what else can I say apart from how scary, right? Like, this guy existed. This guy was real. It's a true crime and like all these murders and abductions of children was not solved for about 40 years because of the way things were back then and um, like that scares me and it's great that things are starting to pick up um, law wise but I mean... <sighs> I don't know, like, what do you think? Who is this guy to you? Please don't say that he's a role model because that's a little scary. Um, I mean, people wrote a book about him. The Australian Psycho. Psycho. He had a lot of things. Um, he had a lot of things going on with him. And he should have been seen to definitely um, seek help or someone should have noticed um, or when they did notice, when somebody did actually notice, um, people were notified, but they weren't either weren't taking seriously or they weren't, um, they just didn't really care because he was already one of those delinquent uh, children and they just need to try and you know just 
finish with school and then head on with their life. I mean, his family left him behind um, to finish school, but honestly, having the family with him would have probably been a little bit easier and better to sort of deal with, but um, like going off on his, on his own at a young age is um, it's already hard enough to think of that by themselves here in these days, but like he was in the Sydney, Canberra and even Adelaide and Melbourne areas and there was a lot of crimes that's happened conveniently at the same time. Now, I haven't gone through the whole book, so I don't know if he's actually been convicted. And please, no spoilers, because I'm trying my best. I don't usually read books, but this one's intrigued me. So, um, yeah, I think overall, I think the person that I'd like them to do like a, a video of is Bailey Sur Saran. Uh, CM, I think. I uh, don't know how to pronounce her last name. Um, I reckon she, she'll be a really good one, you know, doing her makeup and getting really thoroughly into the background. Like, I'm just reading a book, but she does a lot of research and materials and stuff, so I wouldn't mind seeing her do that with this one. Um... But I wouldn't watch it until after I've read this book because I really need to start reading more. Uh, true crime. If you're interested and you're not phased much and you're just interested as in like how the heck did this guy get away? Like what was going on in, in the brains of the, the police, of the government? I mean like he was a military man. Why was he put away uh, for government pleasure? Like, what the heck does that even mean? I'm going to look it up after this. What that means. Because it infuriates me that he was taken for government pleasure. I reckon someone was hiding up, uh, hiding him up because he was a part of the military. It's easy to get into the military, guys. Especially when you don't have a record. But, you know, a psychological test should be taken when you go into the, the military to see if you're actually some weird psychopath or sociopath or whatever. Anyway, um, that painting in the background there uh, is soon... Um, it's not going to look like that. It's very, very, very basic. And I am just beginning it. And, you know, today is one of those days where both children are in daycare. So I'm trying to make my time productively, like cleaning the house and stuff. And I guess I got a little bit bored and decided to make this video. Yay me. Um... I'm sure you guys know what that's all about. Boredom. Especially during COVID. Especially when you don't want to go out constantly and wear a mask everywhere you go. But, I mean, if that's the criteria and if that's actually keeping us safe, so be it. I'd rather be safe. But if it's not doing anything at all, then what's the point? I don't know. People tell me two different sides and I say stick with the mask because so far, you know, so far it's been pretty good. It's not that bad. It's, you just got to get used to the mask. And yeah, so I'll do another video, another update of when I'm about halfway, three quarters or maybe even finish this book. So I'll see you then or I might even do a video of when I'm painting that painting in the background there who knows I don't know we'll see all right bye